Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have this awesome homemade antique mousetrap. This is called a double deadfall. I've featured deadfall traps before. They've been used for thousands of years. Native Americans especially would have huge deadfall trap lines to feed their family with mice and small rodents. Uh, usually that involves a rock that uh, has a, some kind of trigger mechanism that comes down and smashes an animal. Uh, I've already featured the figure four deadfall and the Paiute deadfall, both really effective. I'll put the links in the description below if you want to see a primitive style trap. But this is a wooden deadfall. It's made out of wood blocks with a little frame. And the idea is that you have a little trigger pad here and these are held up by the string. When the mouse comes in to get the bait, they stick on that trigger pad and this comes slamming down on them. And there's two of them. I have seen these in a single model and a multiple models. The way you set this is there's a string tied to this block. If you flip it around here, you'll see a little hook on the trigger pad. And this block also has a notch. You put the little end of the toggle right there and the other on the hook of the trigger pad. And when the mouse comes through to get that bait, he's underneath the weight of the block and he steps on it and it releases that and comes slamming down on him. I'm curious to see how these work. I have two of them, but what I found is when I set both of them, when you uh, set off one, the other gets jolted because this wood is old and moves around and it gets set off too. So usually when you set off one side, both of them go off. Let's go set up this antique homemade deadfall trap in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can catch some mice with this early design. Last night was the third night in a row I've tested out this antique deadfall trap and two of the three nights we caught mice. The first night they came and set off the trap by sitting on the little trigger mechanism so they weren't killed but the second night we caught a mouse on this side and on the third night we caught a mouse on this side. So overall a really effective trap. I said it has a double feature but because this is so old and the wood moves around when you set off one pretty much the other side goes off. Not always but it seems like it is the case. It's too sensitive and you can only catch one mouse at a time. So I might do some further testing to see if I can get a double but these blocks of wood seem like they're just the right size to come down and make a little mouse pancake. I love these antique homemade mouse traps. Many consider these folk art. They're usually really well made and effective at killing mice.